Welcome back to the channel everybody. Look at Daiki and his new yellow hair. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's a nice contrast between the pink and the yellow. Anyways, uh, it's crunch day today. This is the last day that we can work on this car. Tomorrow is the tune. We, are, we got to leave at like 4 o'clock in the morning to make it in time down to where Tanaka-san is. And then uh, the day after that is test day shakedown at Scuba Circuit. So we have a lot to get done. And as you can see, a lot has been done. The majority of the work is actually finished. Kawabi-san is making a front kind of bash bar right now to help support everything and tie it all together. I'm working on all the lines for the turbo. I'm gonna be plumbing up the wastegate. I'm gonna be finishing off the wiring, changing out the coil loom and everything like that for the new 35 coil packs. I'm gonna be tidying up all of this in here today. Not looking forward to it, but it's uh, something that definitely needs to be done. So by the end of today's video, this engine should be running. You excited, Daiki? You're gonna hear it run for the first time after the new turbo. <laughs> so I've just started on mapping out all the lines and before I do anything is I like to put all the fittings onto everything to just try and get an idea of how it's all gonna work. And I actually found a problem where the uh, fitting that would screw onto the turbo for the water here was actually hitting on the bolt here with the orientation that it was clocked. Now luckily with all the new G-Series cores is you have two ports on either side. Now you should try to have one low and one top which is what we've done here, but I just flipped them. So over here used to be bottom port and top port over here, but we flipped it so this is the bottom port here and that's the top port. And now we're gonna get nice even flow through that core that's gonna keep everything nice and cool. And we clear the bolts on both sides now. So just a good idea to just kind of screw all your fittings on first before you go and make the lines or anything to make sure you have enough clearance for the fittings to even screw on in the first place. Some of these G-Series with one, some of their bigger profiles are really tight and you need like tight radius fittings and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, otherwise, everything's looking good here now. I've already got my oil drain little extension piece on there, the little flex pipe. I highly recommend just get one of these flex pipe things. You can buy them from PRP or GCG. Um, they're amazing and uh, they just save you so much time because you bring your 10 mil down here, sorry, your dash 10 fitting down here and everything up there, you know, once you set it once, you never have to touch it. And because it's flexible as well, you can kind of just like pivot it and move it into whichever direction you need for your drain. Just makes life a lot easier. So I'm gonna go get started and cutting all the lines and the links up and then we'll uh, start putting everything together. Doesn't matter how many times you think you have everything, you always forget something. And this is what I forgot, the AN hose cutter. What are you doing here, Riley? Working on stuff. Doing geeky stuff, nerdy stuff? Yeah, I'm about to do a bunch of soldering. IRL backpack stuff? If you guys don't actually know, Riley runs a company in Japan and he helps out a ton of IRL streamers here and even esports teams and stuff like that, making sure that they're all sorted out for IRL streaming in Japan. If you don't know about that, then you should be following me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash summit. We have a good time. Also, Drift Mitsuri just happened and I didn't film it for a YouTube video. I just did a 36 hour non-stop subathon live stream on the Twitch channel and it was a lot of fun. Anyways, time to go back to Kawabi Sun Shop. Way back. It's time to switch out this small pulley for the Yashio factory one and I just want to do a comparison so you guys can really see the difference here. Look at that. Ooh. Massive difference. So this is smaller than stock. I have no idea why you'd want to overdrive the water pump on these. And this is much bigger. Look at the difference there. Huge difference. Just look at these side by side like that. Yeah. Look at that. Decent size bigger. So that is going to help this thing stay cool and pump more water around in high RPMs. And you can use the stock belt size. All you have to do is uh, just, it's really tight. So you just gotta work with it a bit. <laughs> I'll help you in a sec. Look at this, you got some pink, you got some purple, you got everything going on this now then. Pink. Pink, purple, everything. Hey, there it is. And then, and then. He tapers the edge so you can slide the belt on. Actually genius. 
You don't even have to get a new one. Look at that. Straight on. Works with the PRP LS alternator kit as well. And it all lines up. Tighten her up, ready to rip. Look at that, beautiful. Yeah. Big difference. I can't wait. Your coolant temps are going to be so much better. Mm. Especially with all the drifting, there's no cavitation. Nice. It's going to be great. And that's a perfect oil drain line. I think the last time I picked up the camera, we were still working on the lines. Those are all finished now. We just finished changing out the springs in the wastegate so that that's all set up and good for pretty much starting at around 16 PSI. And then we can ramp it up from there. So it'll be about 1.2 bar. And then everything else is kind of like good to go. kawabi -san's finishing up welding in the support bar and stuff that he's putting in. But recently we just added these to Semit.net. Holographic engine stickers. These things are incredible. I love them so much. We're gonna do a batch probably in a couple months too of a different glitter kind of holographic, but this is awesome. SR20, we've got the RV28, and we've also got the one JZ. We're gonna be working on new engine one soon too, but I figured that it was perfect time that we stuck a nice little SR1 somewhere on this car. You think around up there? Yeah. All right, just wipe her off uh -huh. and yeah, that'll look good. Bing, bing, bing. We got. Jimmy's. Oh, his is hollow too. That's sick. <laughs> Hell yeah. We need some cement ones, I think. No more broken keys. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing that's absolutely been saving me is our insulated water bottles, especially with how hot it's been recently. 12 hours, it'll keep your drink cold or hot, and they're super durable. Although, we have had some people email us. One guy said he dropped his out of a moving car. I have a lot of questions about how that even happened, but we do sell replacement lids. They're only a thousand yen, which is like seven bucks USD. So go to summit.net and grab yourself some merch. Um, this would be the moment where FML just makes so much sense. <laughs> Fixing a lot of stuff and just trying to just tidy everything up and figure out what's not working, what is what is working. Um, obviously I can't do too much, but um, like his old boost controller just fell out of these weird connector things here, um, which are just like these quick connects for wiring and stuff, but they obviously, sometimes they don't crimp down properly, so wires can fall out of them. Um, I found some wires that had melted and stuff in here, so I gotta go through and replace some of this. Um, found some blown fuses. This is another whole thing I gotta sort out. And just everything else here is a bit of a disaster. There's some weird patch harness stuff going on too. It seems like instead of, I don't know, they just cut a ton of wires here on the factory loom and then just ran random other, like, I don't know, normal DC 12 volt via, wire for sensors. Like one of these is for the water temp sensor. And then the other one of these is, uh, uh, some other sensor in the edge of it like just weird stuff um, But also just I think it was just done in a rush like this thick Like this is this is some pretty high amperage 12 volt vo like DC wire. This is for the water temp sensor <laughs> It's been a while since I picked up the camera last we're definitely burning the midnight oil. It's already past midnight but Oil coolers kind of mounted up and tacked in place We've got the lines run this is all we have fitting wise and hose wise. So we're just kind of making it work. I hate it, but it is what it is. And we will change all this after um, the event this weekend and whatnot. This is just so we can get to the tune tomorrow. Well now today. Um, and obviously there's a little excess line here too because we're rerouting the hose compared to how it was before. So that doesn't look good, but it will be good in about a week's time. So I'm gonna try and not look at that OCD wise and just kind of focus on everything else. Uh, wiring wise, we're kind of done. This corner here is still gonna be something we're gonna deal with later. Like I said, we're planning to rewire this whole car. And um, at that point is when we will, uh, you know, not have this little bird's nest in the corner here of all the OEM factory loom plugs and stuff like that. But everything's kind of neat everywhere else, which is the main thing. All the lines are plumbed up for the wastegate. Um, I think I already told you the lines are all done for water and oil to the turbo. Um, we got the Yashio factory water pulley switched out. Um, I ran in the ground and stuff from the alternator to the chassis, just like it should here. Made a nice fresh ground wire there, it looks great. 
Um, otherwise, I think the only thing that's left is we're putting a dash 10 uh, bung on here plus the bung for the IAT sensor. Um, and then we can kind of just button everything up and start this car. I am still going through uh, the wiring inside the car and tidying things up. Most of it's somewhat kind of done now. I just need to, you know, zip tie it up out of the way and all that kind of thing and make it look nicer. But we're making progress. It's gonna be a late one slash maybe no sleep at all, um, which isn't great, but it is what it is. This is definitely still not what I want, but it looks a million times better. And I cleaned out a ton of stuff that we didn't need. It took out a bunch of wires and stuff that just made no sense and weren't going to anything. Tidied everything up. Um, but this thing definitely needs a rewire, but at least now we know what's going on and everything's a lot neater and makes more sense. And there's no black wires going to red on the terminal and no red wires going to black on the battery terminal. It's the main thing, that's the main thing. All right, so it's a lot better. It's a lot better than it was. Also, I redid all the grounding because it was all rusted up and some of the wires were just so long and coiled up in there that it made no sense. So yeah, we should be good now. Link ECU's back up here. Um, instead of being held in with like a thousand zip ties, I just made a couple quick aluminum stays here to just kind of put it to the dash. But yeah, definitely rewiring the car, everything's coming out and starting from scratch when we do get around to that. But for now, this is it. It's a thousand times better than it was. And uh, it's now pretty much 1.30. <sighs> I want to start this thing up so bad. Getting to the exciting time. It's time to put water in. We already got the concentrate cooling in there. Another thing that the Semit insulated water bottle is good for, go to Semit.net right now and get one. Fingers crossed, no problem, and it just starts, all right? But this is the first start, Daiki. First start with all of that. There's so much that we still want to change on this, but it's happening after the next round, okay guys? Trust me, there's a lot here that just is driving me insane, but we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna survive. I'm also very sleepy. It's, it's three o'clock. We have two hours to leave, otherwise we won't make the dyno in time. The dyno is a four hour drive away because we're gonna meet with Tanaka-san where we always tune the FD car, which is all the way in Gifu. Why is the dino in Gifu? I don't know, but we're probably not sleeping. And if we sleep, it'll be for 15 minutes at a PA on the way down and then we'll just keep alternating. Uh, gonna be a good night, day, thing. It's gonna be good because everything's gonna go great on the dino. And then we get to sleep tomorrow night, rest, shake down with Okachan at Okajuku and then sleep, rest, and then I go down to Okubuki, the complete opposite side where you go all the way up north and compete at Ebisu. It's kind of funny. Tanoshimi. Tanoshimi, I'm very excited. Tanoshimi means excited in Japanese. That's your Japanese 101 lesson today. Also, pink bit shirts, they're cool. We've just got fluids in the thing, coolant, oil, all good to go. I've got the crank sensor disconnected. We're gonna crank and build some oil pressure. That way we can get some of the fresh oil pumping through a brand new oil filter and a brand new oil cooler before we go and, you know, just start this thing right away. So it's always a good idea to just disconnect your cam angle sensor or crank sensor or whatever, depending on your engine. Uh, when it's been sitting for a while, if you've done a bunch of changes and whatnot, just to get the oil pumping through first so that everything's well lubricated. So while we're gonna be cranking, we're gonna be listening for any weird noises or anything like that that shouldn't be there. Be good. Sounds good to me. Let it rest for a bit and crank a go. Look at that turbs you're already trying to spin. Okay, Daiki. We got oil pressure. We topped up the oil. 
We've got the cam angle sensor plugged in. Hopefully, it uh, just starts first go now. Let her rip. Please. Whoa. Sounds cam. <laughs> It's alive. Do you have oil pressure on the gauge? Huh? You have four bar, that's good. We have oil pressure. Yeah, we made a mess. We forgot to do up the fittings. So we're obviously really tired. Uh, after checking the coil harness, we realized it wasn't plugged in all the way um, in under the firewall, which is probably more so my bad. But it's all together now, and I think it's gonna idle really well now. So let's start her up. Oh my God, right away. It's fixed, right? No longer got a misfire. Before it had a terrible misfire. It sounds good. Now obviously it's, uh, oh, my Apple Watch died because it hasn't been charged in like two days now. It's nearly four o'clock. So we're not gonna rev this. The fact that it's idling, we can leak check it now and make sure everything's all good. But I think, uh, I think we're in luck. Sounds really good. Sounds really good. Triple checked all of the sensors. Everything's working good now. I'm pretty hyped. I think we're gonna make it. We've got about 30 minutes to try and finish this up and load it up on the truck. We're probably gonna be a little bit late to the dyno, but uh, I'm sure Tanaka-san will understand. I'm gonna quickly duck home now and take a shower, but we got to hear it for the first time. It started for the first time, and boy, did it sound amazing. You excited, Daiki? Yeah. You heard it start for the first time with the new Tevo kit? Mm -hmm. It sounded good, because you couldn't hear any exhaust sound coming from this area of the car, right? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Next video will be dino. We will be zombies, but it's gonna all be worth it. Always worth the grind. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button, write us a comment, grab some merch on summit.net, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. No more broken peas. <laughs> <laughs>